People really said when this part happened that they sided with General Zod. That's like the weirdos who say they side with Thanos. Yeah, Thanos had a point because we're running out of resources. <laughs> or some dumb shit. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Uh, I just want to say something really quick before the video starts. I know the video is long enough as it is, but I just need to say a couple of things before the video begins. I'm predicting that by the time this video comes out, we'll have 500 subscribers, so thank you in advance. We appreciate it. Stay around. We got videos happening. Um, speaking of videos, we apologize for the lack of movie reviews. We're doing a January through April video of all the movies that came out in that time, including the Oscar movies that we missed from the November December video. This series was supposed to be monthly, and we're just doing it whenever we feel like it, apparently. Um, I'm in the middle of shooting a film. I actually have to get up in six hours to shoot a 12 hour day. And uh, my other half is being destroyed by capitalism. So we're, we're, we're trying to live, okay? Other than that, I don't think there's anything else I really have to say. Uh, enjoy our Man of Steel commentary. There's going to be more things. The following preview has been approved for appropriate audiences by the Motion Picture Association of America Incorporated. Yeah. Oh, it's Superman. This trailer is so hype. Yeah, it is. You have to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be. And then this shot, oh my god. Yeah, that was cool. Moving at the speed of sound into my heart. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh, 2013, that was eight years ago. Damn, we're old. Yeah. This looks really good in 4K. So far, well, it's just logos. So. <laughs> Ooh, it's Krypton. More like Pandora. There are habitable worlds within reach. We can begin by using the old output. When did you see this movie for the first time? In 2013. I think I definitely snuck into this movie. I saw something right before it. I, it might have been Pacific Rim. <laughs> and then I went to sneak into Man of Steel. <laughs> I also did not pay to see this movie for the first time, <laughs> but I did it at home almost a year after the movie came out. Really? Yeah, I took my sweet time. I wonder how much this made opening weekend. Probably like one, 120, I'm going to say. Take him away. Ooh, I forgot. The score for this movie is good. He said, did 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 din I said... And Jorel just knows martial arts, even though he's like a scientist. I feel like it's required on Krypton to know. Like in Israel, like everyone has to do the military. <laughs> Set out to Gal Gadot. Yeah, everyone has to uh, oppress Palestine really quick. Maybe we won't notice the CGI background if there's a giant light in our eyes. <laughs> Shout out to the epilogue of the Snyder Cut. Damn, this movie really did say, I saw Avatar that one time. Except it's not as colorful. Nope, can't have that. Oh, I forgot this movie does that thing with the camera where it zooms in super fast. I hate that. I, I hate it so much. <laughs> it's very disorienting. Ugh, he did it three times, four times. Twice in one shot. <laughs> Ooh, this is some Robert Rodriguez level CG over here. What am I watching? We Can Be Heroes? More like we can have fun. More like I didn't have fun. You didn't laugh when she had shark strength? Oh no! She's got shark strength! Has your thoughts on this film evolved as time has gone on? Yeah, definitely for sure. Because when I first saw it, I thought it was like a masterpiece. But then, you know, I used my head. Time went on, you saw real movies. How dare you have a terrible opinion at the age of 17? <laughs> you should be ashamed. I remember um, in one of my film classes in high school, we had to analyze some scenes from movies that we decide. I chose this, and I'll tell you which scene it is when it comes up. Can I guess? Yeah, you can guess. Okay, good. We'll make it a game. Mmm, a zoom. <laughs> it's very good. Ooh, he did it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he did a zoom and a close-up. Yeah, you're right. Pee pee. Is that allowed? You know what? I'm just gonna take a precaution <laughs> just in case, you know? I'm pretty sure that the Motion Picture Association of America and uh, YouTube go by different rules. Ooh, CGI fog. <laughs> you know that armor CG too, right? Is it? Yeah. All the armor is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You gotta watch the behind the scenes. I definitely did like years ago, but I forgot.
they're really trying to add some like emotional weight to the scene but we don't know these people but it's russell crowe you can attach your feelings on the actor i guess he cut out all the sound so it's art it's like a martin scorsese movie <laughs> so it's cinema his name is cal son of l And he's beyond your reach. You sure about that? Hashtag you thought. Hashtag I will find him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that zoom. Ooh, double zoom. There we go. <laughs> I will find him. I will find him, Lara. Say the line, Bart. I will, I will find, find him. him. Dig -a -dig -a <laughs> Calm down, Jamal. Don't whip Don't out the line. <laughs> And now we see the black penises shoot off into the sky. The phallic objects. I wonder whose idea that was. It was Zaddy Snyder, dude. What if it was Chris Nolan? Chris Nolan probably watched that part and he was like, well, that was a choice. <laughs> or he probably went, that was a choice, in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a choice, bruv. Let's go get a pint. A pint at the pub. At the pub. <laughs> Remember when Tenet was supposed to save the movies? But it was actually Tom and Jerry. <laughs> hey, a triangle, it's the feminine archetype. Ooh, this looks good. She kind of looks good. Hey. <laughs> Relax, she's about to become a corpse. Oh, we low-key forgot to say why we're doing this. <laughs> By the way, we're doing all of the movies pre-Justice League and also the Snyder Cut. We're doing the commentaries you've all been waiting for, all right? So yes, sir. we're going to get all the hits. <laughs> we're not doing Aquaman or Shazam because they're like their own movies that have nothing to do with this uh, universe uh, failure. Dumpster fryer. Dumpster fire, but those movies are good. This was an excellent match cut, by the way. This is the one part of the movie that I think is actually great. The crashing into the land that turns into the ship in the ocean, cause like the ocean's a metaphor for space and he's in an unknown world and the ship is like the ship, but you get it? Hey look, his arms are out open. Like, Oh, uh, do you know what that means? <laughs> I don't know, I've never watched the movie before. Is that like supposed to be like a metaphor or something? It's a metaphor for something, all right. Damn, they said ghouls from Fallout. Wait, have you played Fallout? No, I have not. Oh, damn. That was just... Okay. That could have been funny, but... <laughs> I guess that it's funny now. Why is he having an attack like this now? Wouldn't he be feeling this all the time? Yeah, for sure. Man's is ripped. Huge. He's juiced. Yeah, Zack Snyder doesn't play when it comes to his uh, actors getting into shape. Yo, Jim Jones. The shirt that he always wears. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just a bigger fan of Zack Snyder than you, obviously. <laughs> Come on! Dick splash! Wow. That's like this movie's Do You Bleed. I can't believe Joss Whedon added that into Justice League. Oh, the music is so good, dude. Yeah, it's great. Probably can't use any of it for this video because copyright, but, you know. We can sing it. Da -da. <laughs> Lana saw it too. And the Fordham boy. And this isn't the first time Clark's done something like this. You would think they know who Superman is. Oh, like later when he becomes Superman and people were like, who is Superman? And those people could <laughs> yeah. be like, hey, it was this boy I went to school with. Yeah, exactly. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? Ooh, this line. Say it. Maybe. Ugh. This is not your granddad, Superman. I feel like Clark could have done that without it being seen, but, you know. No, he can't fly yet. He didn't have to, like, stare at everybody in the eye when he pushed the bus. Yeah, that's true. Property damage, yeah. <laughs> There's a part in the theater where everybody says, ha 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 ha. That's what they did? Yeah. This is uh, Lois Lane, a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter. And she says dick measuring in this scene, I think. It's not your granddad's Lois Lane. Hey, it's Christopher Maloney. Hey, yo. <laughs> da -dum, da -da 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 so if 
We're done measuring dicks. Can you have your people show me what you found? Penises are confirmed in the DCEU, y'all. This is the second reference to the male gen- actually the third reference to the male genitalia in this film. What was the first two? The first one was the, the phallic objects. No, second the first one was uh, Kal-El's pee-pee. <laughs> Ooh, it even cut Kal-El. Interesting. It got through his skin. Wouldn't that be like the first time he's ever gotten hurt in his life? Or am I crazy? Don't think about it. (laughs) We keep watching these Hollywood movies together, and you keep asking these questions. (laughs) And I keep having to remind you that you should not be thinking, all right? It's just entertainment. (laughs) Nothing more. Nothing less. Whoa. I remember the theories with that open casket thing. And people were like, oh my gosh, it's Supergirl. Wait, really? Yes, sir. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's right. Hans Zimmer. Hey, we did it. Oh yeah, wait, a black man. At least he's not a shoe-in fan service character that has no impact on the plot. <laughs> Ooh, polar bears. Those are almost extinct. Ooh, that's how I post for my Instagram pictures. <laughs> <laughs> if he had his hands interlocked behind his back, then he'd be like Dark Side. Ooh, Dark Side. Did he do that in the Snyder Cut? I don't know. Nope, remember. he did not. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Automatically garbage. Has Zack Snyder ever read a comic book in his life? Yeah, he read The Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> that's true. But I think he forgot that panel where Batman broke the gun over his knee and said, this is the object of cowards or something like that. I don't remember the exact line, but something like that. Oh, hey, this is that scene from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This predates that, though. So did James Gunn steal from Zack Snyder? I mean, real recognize real. (laughs) We built outposts on other planets using great machines to reshape environments to our needs. For 100,000 years, our civilization flourished, accomplishing wonders. Yo, this uh, accomplishing wonders thing is just American propaganda. (laughs) I'm sure they went to planets that were inhabited by other people and just, like, murdered them. Mm -hmm. We changed the planet to meet our needs, a.k.a. we destroyed everything. And killed everyone. Are we the baddies? We probably shouldn't be thinking about that in a uh, comic book superhero movie. Comic books have never, ever been political, ever at all. You were the embodiment of that belief, Cal. Krypton's first natural birth in centuries. That's why we risked so much to save you. How'd she hide that for nine months? Well, she was at home in the kitchen, dude. You don't (laughs) have to hide when you're supposed to be (laughs) in your place. That's right. Know that, women. Hell yeah, brother. That's terrible. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, we didn't make the rules, okay? We're just making fun of them. (laughs) All right? That's a cool shot. I like that. Earth's gravity is weaker. Yet its atmosphere is more nourishing. You've grown stronger here than I ever could have imagined. So does this mean that Superman is only strong on Earth? He's only strong where there is a a yellow sun or yellow star, I think, nearby. Because I know whenever there's a red star, he loses his abilities and stuff like that. And that's how Goku wins! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Goku would never win. It's true, guys. No matter what happens, he can go Ultra Instinct, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Yeah, you can create 16 different Super Saiyan modes. (laughs) It doesn't matter. Hell yeah, brother! Oh hey, he visited the set of The Lion King. Look at that. I really hate this shot of the close-up. Like, I really don't like it. All right, Zach. Forget every bad thing I've ever said about him. Ooh, two babes talking to each other? Have you ever seen Under the Tuscan Sun? No, I have not. Just do it. Oh, hey, look, it's a woman wearing red in a movie. <laughs> Your family, not mine. I, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. You're not my dad. You're just some guy. His voice is higher. Yeah. But that five o'clock shadow is yeah, talking just different. About to say. <laughs> oh, it's that part that everyone uh, hated. I still don't like it. Will I like it now? Go for the overpass. 
Why is he doing this? He doesn't even have x-ray vision or... Bro, what? Glenn, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, he should have just won. I'm worried they'll take you away from me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, Mom. Hey, 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 don't, uh, don't write checks your ass can't cash, all right, over there? <laughs> oh, hey, it's that character from that comic. Hey, wait, 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 spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting that he didn't, uh, show up in the middle of this movie. It's almost as if, like, he was made into this character last minute. Oh, hey, it's the guy from House of Cards. I never peeped that show. Should you now that, uh, we know about Kevin he who Spacey? shall not be named? Oh, oh, you said it, okay, well... <laughs> We heard that stock gasp. We've heard that in multiple commentaries within the last couple of months. <laughs> Very interesting. How they make that video? Do they have Premiere and After Effects and shit? They have to on their ship or something. Alien After Effects. How do they know every language? I don't know. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Shoot her? <laughs> Yeah, they just might actually. Do you see her skin? No, oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, we need to retire red hats <laughs> forever. Oh God. I don't want to like have to think. Oh my God, is this person a racist? You know. Mhm. Mm I just want to know, like, if I see you wearing a red hat, I just know. I don't even have to be like, is that is that is that what I think it is? <laughs> is it that hat from that racist? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait 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 you see it you see it behind him that's uh that's that character what character the character from that book <laughs> oh that's that symbol oh what's that scene oh my god do you get it audience i can save earth by turning myself in i can save earth by turning myself in like jesus oh hey it's superman and martian manhunter talking to each other wouldn't he you know what <laughs> <laughs> no oh, say it say it <laughs> wouldn't he see that he's a martian <laughs> <laughs> with his x-ray vision i think it would have been better if this movie didn't have such high stakes because then the Martian Manhunter cameo in Justice League would make a little more sense because it's like, okay, obviously he wouldn't get involved in this because the world isn't at stake. It's just like Superman and, I don't know, some other villain. Mm -hmm. It didn't make much difference in the end. It did to me. Are they, like, attracted to each other already? Yeah, see, they held hands. I haven't held hands in a while. Oh, I did yesterday. It was so great. Yeah? <laughs> that's very cool oh this is the worst shot in the movie is it yeah this is it's so i've never liked it what is the point of that it was like a michael bay shot but like not nearly as cool also the shot just felt incomplete general zod would like this woman to accompany me why does he need her because <laughs> for what <laughs> Why didn't Superman notice that he couldn't see through the ship when he saw it the first time? I don't know. Why didn't he bring that up? Interesting. Ooh, the zoom. I take it you're Zod? General Zod. Can you tell that the armor is CG now? Not really, still. Are you sure about that? It still kind of looks real life. Ooh, the drums. So cool. Is that a sickle? Like communism, brother? <laughs> oh, hey, he's wearing that suit. Oh, yeah. It's like in Terminator. Oh, yeah, the playground, the yeah. swings. Mm -hmm. I saw that movie. <laughs> That's definitely a film that is good. I love thinking about better movies when I'm watching a movie. Okay, yeah, it looks like CGI now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's a monster commercial, subliminally. Makes you think about all the zooms. Remember those commercials? Yeah, TBT. Command, the word of the day is trident. We have two aliens. Oh, hey. trident? Aquaman. I know that thing from that book. Why did they need her? You keep asking <laughs> these questions dude because we needed this scene with Jor-El and it's like cool the hand thing I forgot about the hand thing did you do that yes pick up a slide on Ooh, the subtitles were bad yeah it so said pick, pick up, up a. a yeah let's pick up her come, come on, on HBO, HBO Max, Max. <laughs> jinx you owe me a, a kiss 
Oh, hey, what is your girl going to say about that, though? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, you've been flexing, you know. <laughs> You're the girlfriend haver. Lois Lane is a murderer. I love that the guys with guns have to get, like, right in front of her face to pull the trigger. Why didn't he do the hand thing for the door? Of that, the pod. You're thinking about it too hard, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 might be. So why did they need her? <laughs> They didn't say. No, they didn't. It was just very convenient for the plot. Here it comes. Yeah. Jesus, right? Is that what that is? Is that the character yeah. reference from that's, the book? That's the thing from that book. I clapped. I clapped when I saw it. Oh, that was the scene that I showed my high school class. Oh, I completely forgot about that bit. <laughs> I completely... I just... I was so immersed in the filmmaking of Zachary Edward Snyder that I... Didn't even remember the joke that we made earlier. <laughs> well, that was a cute little twirl. That's romantic. I didn't want to tell them anything about you, but they did something to me. They looked inside my mind. It's okay, Lois. They did the same thing to me. Oh, I guess that's what they did. Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. But, but why? So they can uh, find the codex. Yeah, but why did they need her, though? <laughs> Couldn't they have just found his mom instead? You could have kidnapped her you're thinking too hard. Sorry. All right, here we go. This is where the movie becomes dramatically worse. <laughs> he really said, there might have been someone in that car, but you know what? He threatened my mother. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> to hone my senses on. Focus on just what I wanted to see. Why is Superman telling him what to do? Why is he telling him to focus and hone on his senses? You know, it's his first day as Superman, so... You're right. Excuses, it's his first excuses. first day as Superman. Of course, <laughs> he's going to make these giant mistakes. How about Superman, as on his first day as Superman, makes, like, real mistakes instead of moron mistakes? Do we really <laughs> think Superman should be a moron off the jump? Hmm. I love it when the American government destroys a white town. That would totally happen. Yeah, it's great. It's a great work of fiction. Remember when Deborah Snyder said in the special features that their, their whole premise of this movie was, uh, what if Superman was in the real world? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a little suspect. Yep, they do fighter jets first, not drones. Nope. <laughs> Our approach was not a comic book Superman. It was just to do a more realistic Superman, a Superman that exists in a real world. Ground him in a reality that we can understand. Very realistic. Feel as real as possible. Guys, it's his first day as Superman. Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, brought to you by IHOP. IHOP. What a weird choice of music. Good lord, there's even zooms in the fights. <laughs> a good death has its own reward. Hey, remember that line? Remember that. Remember the line. Because it may or may not be coming back later. Why is this happening? What? They're shooting, like, um, they know that there's civilians in there, right? Like, this isn't <laughs> Yemen. This is America. This is America, damn it. I like how the explosions are only touching the streets and the buildings are fine, apparently. Unless there's a train run into it, the buildings are fine. Remember that explosion that happened on Christmas Day in uh, Nashville? Mm hmm And the buildings were just, like, annihilated? Yeah. <laughs> this movie takes place in reality. This answers the question, what if Superman was real? Superman was never real, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. He was never real. If you're going to, like, try to make a movie realistic, how about you just make it realistic? <laughs> That's all I'm asking. We need to be alive for us to extract the Codex from his cells? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> this movie doesn't really have slow motion, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, but it has a lot of fast emotion <laughs> oh hey look at those people in this superman movie being slammed good lord oh yeah look at this 9-11 porn it is weird right like we suffered this tragedy 20 years ago and then like for an entire decade we were like yo let's just make movies where like that event is the aesthetic of the disaster part we'll just have people running from falling buildings and stuff and there'll be ash everywhere, and it'll be very cool. Zod's ship uses the same technology, and if we can make the two drives collide with one another... A singularity can be created. Like a black hole. Yes. So if we open up this doorway, 
then theoretically they should be pulled back in. Let's create a black hole on planet Earth. <laughs> Nothing's Genius. gonna happen. If that thing is making Earth more like Krypton, won't you be weaker around it? This is the first time that this movie has asked questions about the rules of the movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, that thing that Superman told me. Ooh, a zoom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Why are there so many zooms? How will the audience know if they had a good time if they don't want to throw up after the movie's over? <laughs> Why have they not evacuated yet? Get out of the building. We're leaving the building now. Now? <laughs> Why didn't you do that when you saw the thing lowering? Oh, yo. Hollywood movies really do be saying, let's stay around for an unrealistic amount of time. Ooh, mm. I don't know about that at all. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. Traumatizing imagery. Hmm. In the Superman film. Hey, it's that event from American history. I mean, I guess it's a terrorist attack, but like... I don't know. Have you managed to quarantine this invasive intelligence? It failed. I have. Then prepare to terminate it. I'm tired of this debate. Silencing me won't change anything. Were you silent or were you silenced? What? Did you not see the Oprah interview? With the... With Meghan Nick and Harry? Markle? No, I didn't see it, but I, I saw all the highlights. <laughs> that would have been really funny if you saw the interview. <laughs> oh well. Someone will think it's funny, I guess. <laughs> Someone's watching right now and they're laughing. They're saying, ha ha ha. Maybe it's Logan. <laughs> CGI. Where are the um, Atlanteans? Do not think about <laughs> it. Where are the Amazons? They all came together to fight a uh, dark side. But, Here's uh, another dark side over here, and they're like, eh, we sleep. <laughs> Northcom, this is Guardian. Are we cleared to make the drop? Negative, Guardian. Why couldn't he do it? He's Martian Manhunter. He's just standing there. <laughs> Superman knew that, uh... His future boss was in danger. <laughs> His future boss. Hey, it's that girl from the end of the movie. <laughs> she says that line. I just think he's kind of hot. And you know, she didn't have to say that because uh, Lennox could read her mind. <laughs> <laughs> because he has telepathy. Because he's a Martian. Manhunter. Are we ready to drop? Negative Guardian! There's something wrong. It's not supposed to do this. Well, what's it supposed to do? It's supposed to go in all the way. That's what she said. That is what she said. We're mature adults. Hey, it's our queen. What's her name? Feora L or Feora L, however you pronounce it. You can just call her the love of my life. <laughs> and yes, Mr. Wayne, it does come in black. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 I don't think Israelis come in black, but, you know, if they free Palestine, they might. Oh, wait. I love this line delivery. You destroy this ship! You, you destroy, destroy Krypton! Krypton. <laughs> Krypton had its chance! <laughs> People really said when this part happened that they sided with General Zod. That's like the weirdos who say they side with Thanos. Yeah, Thanos had a point because we're running out of resources. <laughs> or some dumb shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna side with Hitler because, you know, the Jews in Germany were like, owning businesses. And that was like destroying Krypton. Exactly. If you let the Jews own businesses, then you destroy Germany. That's what he said, basically. <laughs> I think our superhero movie commentary is getting a little too political. Wait, a superhero made by two Jewish men <laughs> for the explicit purpose of making themselves feel better in a time and place where they were looked down on just for being Jewish. Mm hmm Not political at all. Nope. A good death. Is its own reward. It's that line. Oh, from earlier in the film. Wait, so Lois Lane was just gonna kill herself originally? 
<laughs> like, if the plan went through, she was just gonna die. Was that the plan? Like, when she jumped out, or when she was in the plane itself? In, being in the plane in general... No, I like, think why they, were gonna, she, they were gonna drop it. Why would she be... Why is she in it in the first place? Why is she... She's a journalist. <laughs> why is she there? Couldn't she have just like talked over a communication device isn't the united states military like the largest gang in in human history <laughs> <laughs> sorry the biggest job creator in in human history the biggest jobs program sorry <laughs> they do be taken over turf though Ooh, that's an ugly kiss i mean it's not the worst kiss have you ever seen michael douglas kiss a woman in a movie <laughs> no i haven't <laughs> I don't think I have. It's the sloppiest. It's just gross. Just watch any erotic thriller he's ever been in. They're, they're all fun and entertaining, but whenever he kisses somebody, it's just like, you feel like you shouldn't be watching it. Other people make movies, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, it is pouring by me now. Do you hear that or no? No, I hear this CGI, though. <laughs> it is. It's just a floating head like a Hulk in Infinity War. Every action I take, no matter how violent or how cruel, is for the greater good of my people. Every action he takes, no matter how violent, is for the greater good of his people. That is fascist talk. And people were like, I sided with Zod because Superman said Krypton had its chance. Mm -hmm. Literal Hitler speak. Neo-Nazi <laughs> talk. It's okay. People don't see it, though, because it's two white people fighting. Yeah, that's right. There aren't any dark-skinned people or uh, w yellow stars to, to hammer the point home, but... Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Zack Snyder really said, it's so cool. It was so nice, you had to show it thrice. <laughs> Why are there still people looking around? What is happening? Zach, <laughs> come on. Yo, that armor is speaking. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not real anymore. Where did you train? On a farm. On a farm. Damn yo, Doomsday be crazy. Damn, we got the same fight two times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> General Zod and then General Zod again, but on roids. <laughs> I guess. See, look how Superman is managing to punch him, not in a building, though. <laughs> Interesting how he decided to do that right there. Can't you just do this somewhere else? For real. This is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's that Easter egg. It's the Wayne satellite. He had seven satellites, and then this one got destroyed. It's the origin story of that line in the Snyder Cut where he says, I have six satellites. Why are you guys standing there? Also, why didn't he try to, like, snap his neck before? If he could snap it like that, like, why didn't he? I don't know. Seems like a weird way to die. If he's indestructible, I don't know. Are you effing stupid? It's one of your surveillance drones. That's a $12 million piece of hardware. It was. I know you're trying to find out where I hang my cape. You won't. He's literally Martian Manhunter. This scene doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if uh, Zaddy Zack would have planned this out thoroughly... That scene, he wouldn't have acted as outraged, I don't think. Not at all. Because then you'd be able to read into it more, but he's clearly outraged. I don't know. The most minute little detail all the way to the biggest, broadest concept, all of it gets the same attention. It really makes the movie deeper and more interesting on every level. Ooh, a woman doing laundry? That's right. <laughs> Take that, brother. This is when America was great. <laughs> in this scene right here in Kansas. I have, actually. I gotta find a job where I can keep my ear to the ground. Da, da. Why do you need to keep your ear to the ground if you can hear everything? Why do you even need a job? Why does he need a job? I don't know. He doesn't need an excuse to be any- he could- he's literally Superman. <laughs> like, if this gig is just like, oh, I need to be a human being or something, or I want to hang out with Lois, like, that's different. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like a nerd here, though. He looks like a Superman. Glad to be here, Lois. Lois is the last line. It's the last word that's said. She's the key. She's you get the it? key. Story by David S. Goyer and Christopher Nolan. Oh. Ooh. He, I, he might have come up with the outline. Interesting. 
I feel like it was two separate movies. It felt like two different movies. There is a clear beginning, and then there's like there's like nothingness in the second half. Like it's trying to be Batman Begins. Yeah. Because it starts off in a similar way. Because you get like Clark Kent coming up and like growing into this role like Bruce Wayne does. And then you get, uh, you know, the flashbacks of the younger self, you know, making mistakes and learning and having moments with his parental figures and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a not as good version of Batman Begins. Let me tell you right now, I'm at a five out of ten. Interesting. I'm at a four out of 10. Ooh. I don't really like this movie all that much. Like, there's parts of it that are good, but most of it is just noise. Mm-hmm. And the more movies that come out in this series, or that have come out in this series, the less this movie makes sense. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that goes with basically every movie after this. Mm-hmm. It's like the opposite of the Iron Man effect with Marvel. Because, like, that movie was super contained and, like, it wasn't all out there. It wasn't, like, an end-of-the-world situation. Like, if it had the stakes of Iron Man, then Martian Manhunter possibly being a character would be fine. would be like, oh, that's neat to, like, go back and watch, but he should have intervened, maybe? (laughs) And even the movie that he's in, he doesn't doesn't do it either. (laughs) Whatever. Okay. Just keep ruining my second favorite superhero. Anyway, the CGI is really bad. At times, because in the beginning it looked okay. Yeah. The movie wears its influences a little too hard on its sleeve. The handheld is very distracting. The Ooh, zooms the are zooms. bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the cast was fine. They sold their lines. They had some pretty cringe lines to say at times. Michael Shannon did his thing, you know. I will find him! You know, <laughs> he did the thing. But this movie's just like a mess. And mm-hmm. there was room to grow, but... It's like mindless entertainment, to be honest. Yeah, it thinks it's smarter than it is, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a Transformers film, to be honest. Yeah, without uh, the racism. <laughs> this looks like a cool place to kick it. <laughs> That's crazy. And then in the second <laughs> movie... Oh my god. I don't even remember their names. They are the New Georgia Banks. They are the most stereotypically racist characters... I've seen on screen in a long time. You know, I was trying to explain the twins to somebody, and basically it's this. The twins are two hood niggas. Are you stupid or something? Yeah, I I have no emotional connection to this movie anymore. As the years have gone on and the more I've watched it, it's not because I've watched it so many times. My lack of emotional connection to the film is because the movie doesn't hold up. It's a weird intro to the DCEU, and it yeah. only gets it gets weirder, so it's whatever. So, like, ideologically, it's weird because it's trying to be realistic, but, like, it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're done, right? You, yeah. Four out of ten? Five out of ten? Five out of ten. All right. It's time to look up those ten out of ten Man of Steel reviews. The ten out of ten reviews for BVS are going to be even better. <laughs> oh, God. I can't wait. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, I found a regular. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I found someone from the Godzilla video. Okay. <laughs> a mind-bending, dramatic performance from veteran British actor Henry Cavill, and the rest all sort of just falls into place. October 8th, 2019. A quick DVD review. Henry Cavill carries the entire picture. There's no question about it. And he does so with little help from the feisty and splendidly fun-to-watch supporting performance of the F... F... I don't know words. What word is that? F... Fus... Fus... Fusive... What is that word? What is that word? Effusive. There we go. Okay. I looked it up. <laughs> so Effusively pretty, uh, equally talented Amy Adams. She plays Lois Lane, the Man of Steel's perpetual love interest over the decades since the comic's very inception. You get it, Inception. <laughs> Director Zack Snyder of 300 fame does a truly commendable job of presenting a somewhat darker, all caps, yet very reflective Superman in this film, whilst still generously allowing the utterly lovable Clark Kent. Cla- Ugh. There's so many like things going on visually, it's so hard to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Wilt still generously allowing the utterly lovable Clark Kent Kal-El's beautiful spirit to shine through from beginning to end. A wholesome, flaming hot 12 marks out of 10. The movie has heart, soul, and very definitely guts. 
That was a real review. You probably don't even know what happened because I just stumbled through that, but that was it. It was a thing. Just trust me. <laughs> it was a review. Oh, yes. This is good. Okay. There's some Jesus stuff in here. This is great. Okay. 10 out of 10. An epic ride from July 21st, 2014. At first, I was very nervous at the prospect of another Superman movie, especially considering how horrible Superman Returns was. However, Man of Steel was a roller coaster of a ride as we not only witness Kal-El's origins, but we are shown Superman the way he is supposed to be. With expert direction brought to us by Zack Snyder and the assistance of Christopher Nolan, Man of Steel is packed full of action and emotional depth. No Superman movie has ever come close to achieving the atmosphere illustrated in the comics or the cartoon series until Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Sure, it has a lot of action, but anyone who is a true Superman fan knows that Kal-El's battles were almost always explosively long. Furthermore, the biblical metaphors were absolutely brilliant. As Superman was intended to be portrayed as a Christ-like figure, you see his journey in Man of Steel, not all that much different from the New Testament. Example, when Clark Kent asked the priest for advice, behind him was a stained glass window of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> praying to his father before he was arrested and crucified. Next scene, Clark Kent willingly submits himself to be arrested, ascends into the heavens, and then descends in a crucified form. As Superman's story is not about becoming the best, but an immigrant facing the challenge of home versus heritage, we see Zack Snyder's portrayal of Superman reflect the Man of Steel originally designed by Joseph Schuster. Okay, I don't need to read the rest of that review. Okay, 10 out of 10. Best Superman movie ever made. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> A Superman film that tackles big issues. <laughs> <laughs> big ideas and takes risks. I've liked every Superman film I've ever seen, but this one felt like it finally lived up to the potential of the character. 11 stars if I could. It, there's issues. I don't know if it tackles them though. No, definitely not. I was going to make a football reference, but I really don't watch football anymore. <laughs> like, I didn't really need to because Tom Brady was Tom in Brady the Super Bowl. Tom Brady went to the Super Bowl, yeah. There's no point in watching because you know what's going to happen. All right. These reviews were kind of... Uh, underwhelming i was hoping for like some serious like just delusional delusional takes but when we get to bvs we'll get the we'll get the real the real one yes sir wait hold on before we do the outro don't you just feel exhausted <laughs> this movie exhausted me yeah it's like it was just a lot it is a lot and i'm like super hungry too so it's like ugh it's like double <laughs> <laughs> all right if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you agree or disagree tell us in the comments subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends do all the things the bvs commentary is coming soon i don't know what other videos that are coming out or have been coming out or whatever <laughs> i'm tired me too all right bye guys bye. have a good one you have to get past the avengers and marvel shit at some point okay other people make movies